Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for This Week in Ink number three. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started off with pen-related news from this week. Um, not a whole lot. I'm going to be honest with you guys, kind of a slow week. Um, first up, probably the most important thing on this list, the Arkansas Pen Show. The Arkansas Pen Show goes from, I believe, May 16th through the 18th. Um, so if you're in the area or if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Um, Van S. Pins is down in Little Rock, Arkansas as well. So you could maybe, you know, make a double trip out of it. I believe they're having some sort of event down there. I could be wrong, but I believe they're having um, like a little get together or something like that. So again, that is May 16th through the 18th. I highly encourage you to go if you're in the area. Next up, the Ackermann SBRE Brown Ink. Uh, this ink here, which um, if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can go watch the review now. If not, it'll be up next Wednesday. Um, that ink is currently in stock at AndersonPens.com. Um, it is $38 for a um, 120 milliliter bottle, so it's not a bad deal at all. It is sold out at Van S, so if you want to get it, Anderson Pens is probably going to be the place to do it. As of shooting right now, um, it is Friday, which I'm going to upload this video in just like an hour or two anyway. Uh, it's Friday, Eastern Standard Time, about 3 p.m. It's up. It's available. If you want it, go get it now, because I don't know how long it's going to be in stock. Um, and I don't know how many more they're going to produce. So, that's there. Um, next up... Peniter um, is going to be producing some, or they have some new pens coming up. If you don't know who Peniter is, it is a, an old paper company, actually, that just started getting into making pens. When Dante Del Vecchio, one of the founders of Visconti, left his own company to go work for Peniter. I don't know the story there, um, but similar to Visconti, they have some interesting materials for some very high prices. That seems to be Dante's thing, as far as I know. Um, I, I think the Visconti stuff is a bit more interesting than Peniter, but who knows. They have a somewhat interesting semi-flex, kind of soft nib you might want to check out. They look okay. The honeycomb pen that they have coming to Goulet is ridiculous to me. Um, uh, that's, I'll, I'll have a link down in the description as always. That is not a $650 pen or whatever the heck it is. That's, that's just ridiculous. Um, just small little rant there, but I don't know. Um, I would be interested in checking them out. I'm probably not going to because I'm not paying $400 for any pen from Visconti that is not, or sorry, not Visconti, anything that Dante Del Vecchio is affiliated with without trying it out first. Um... I don't know if they still have the nib quality control issues that Visconti had, but I really don't want to risk it. But there's something, you know, for you to check out. Maybe if, if you're looking for something in the three to $700 price range, they have some interesting stuff. On to the personal front. Go and move these out of the way. Not a whole lot going on, actually. There are a few things I've acquired. Not a whole lot fountain pen related. I'm trying to save up for the Atlanta Pen Show. I'm going to have, hopefully, a pretty substantial haul from that show. However, I have picked up a few things. Um, this is not a fountain pen, so before you like freak out on me, understand that fountain pens cannot be used for everything. They can't be used for carbon, copy paper, they're terrible on receipts, etc. So, um, I want something still interesting to carry around. So I've been looking at the Baron Fig pens. However, they do limited editions. They're all sold out, and I really don't like the Squire a ton. I, they have some more interesting editions. I picked up an, a Baron Fig Insightful Spectre. I adore this pen. Like it's it's so cute, the little ghost on there, and it's just interesting enough to add something. Um, I will have a review of this pen coming up in time. Um, I really wish they'd done the Baron Fig logo in the kind of like dark grayish purple they did the ghost in but it's a very interesting pen it does use parker g2 refills 
So you can use gel ink or rollerball ink because I hate ball points. So it's it's not bad so far, I'm gonna be honest. It's pretty interesting. Um, another thing, I was actually going through an antique store today and I found some old dip nibs. These are Esterbrook dip nibs. Um, I may do a review of these, I don't know. Let, you guys let me know if you're if you're interested in it. But um, there, it's just old Esterbrook dip nibs. Got an entire package of them, and they're like literally brand new. It's it's crazy. Um, I don't know how flexible these are. They're you know that's not bad. Um, I do have some. Well, my wife has some dip pens. So if you guys want to see a review of those, let me know. Um, if any of you want some of them. Let me know, and if you'll cover cost of shipping, I'll be more than happy to send you a few. Um, but pick that up. I also, it's soaking right now, so I don't have it with me, purchased a Waterman's Ink View 2 with a semi-flexible 14 karat gold nib. Um, it does need to be repaired, so if any of you know anyone that repairs vintage pens or recommend any companies to repair them, please let me know. I'm currently um, wanting to get that repaired, so maybe I can do a vintage flex versus kind of a modern flex of that versus the Conklin Durograph, uh, or Duraflex, I apologize. I think that'd be very, very interesting to take a look at. Um, last thing, so obviously running a YouTube channel that reviews things um, like pens, especially when it's primarily foam pens, can get very expensive. So I've been reaching out to companies and basically you know, asking, if they'd be interested in sending a review sample in exchange for an honest review. Um, I've gotten some positive replies, and I do have one thing. And it's not directly pen related, but as you guys know, every now and then I'll do a knife review or an EDC review. Well, one thing that I carry with me every day in addition to my pens and stuff, um, whether it be to work or wherever else, is a bag. So, there aren't a ton of bag companies that interest me though. So I've been fairly limited in what I'll take a look at. But there was one that interested me, and I'd seen reviews of it, and I was like, well, I think that'd be a good fit for the channel. Because, um, I, like I said, I do EEC reviews every now and then. So I reached out to a company. This, is, this name is a little explicit, so if you're a younger person or you're offended by rough words, stop the video now, just a warning. I reached out to the company called Nutsack Bags, and they sent me... A, I can't really get it in frame, but I can get like the, the emblem in frame, maybe? Ugh. There you go. Um, they sent me a Nutsack Bags satchel. Um, I will have a review of it coming up. I want to carry it for a little while. Um, bags can be a little difficult to form a strong opinion on initially. However, I will say it's pretty nice. Um, they are a little expensive. Do I think it's worth it at the moment? Yes. But you'd really have to use a bag every day. This isn't something you want to buy and use once a month. But, um, pretty good initial impression so far. So, in the coming weeks, the reviews are going to slow a little bit. I'll be doing a few more, um, pen-related videos, sort of information, things like that. Or, um, one video I do have coming up as well is what do I carry every day and my extended everyday carry, stuff like that. Um, a few opinion pieces that I've done every now and then. Just some, some varied stuff coming up as I try to save up money for the pen show. Um, because I really, really want to get some, some more interesting stuff that maybe I can't find online or normally is out of my price range so i'm trying to save up a decent chunk for that so i can get you guys some good content but in the coming weeks um there will be a review of the twisby mini al um if you're a patreon subscriber you can currently watch the review of the nema sign singularity if not it will be coming out probably tomorrow um well definitively tomorrow i guess and once that comes out patreon subscribers will be able to see um, the Twisby Mini All Review. Uh, it's pretty amazing pen. Um, 
so there will be a review of those two. There will be a review of this. Um, I'm trying to use, it's really weird not using a fountain pen, but this is not terrible. Uh, like I said, if you guys are interested, I can do a really short review of the Esterbrook pens. Once I get my Waterman's Inkview 2 repaired, I would love to do a review of it, and also a comparison with the Duraflex. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Also, this coming week, there will be a, a paper review. It'll be just Rhodia paper, which is what I use the most. Um, kind of how it stands up to different types of pens, different types of nibs, things like that. How much ink it can withstand before ghosting, bleeding, all that stuff. So I'm probably going to go ahead and film that now. But uh, just want to let you guys know that will be coming out soon, probably early next week, maybe Monday, Tuesday. But keep an eye out for that. And um, that's going to be about it. It's going to be a, a little slower in the coming weeks up until... Uh, about April so this month it, it's gonna be not be nearly as many you know me just pumping out reviews of pens so keep an eye out for all that stuff coming up don't forget to check out my patreon please it, it would help out the channel a lot um, again I've updated my back rewards if you guys think the prices are off or any recommendations for any of that let me know I'd be more than happy to adjust it if you guys think there's you know um, any discrepancy like that. Um, again, once I make it to, ten, to $10 on Patreon to kind of offset the shipping cost, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, for every $10 that I... It, okay, if I'm making $10 a month off of Patreon, I'll do a, review, a giveaway every month. Um, to a degree... It may slow down after a while, but I have a, a decent chunk of my collection that I don't feel like selling. That I'd be more than happy to give away to you guys. Um, but go check that out. Keep an eye out for the upcoming videos and a few more reviews. And the ink reviews will stay constant because I have a just a ton of ink. And again, don't forget to check out the SBRE Brown at Anderson's if you're looking for it. This could be your last chance to get it. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out all the other crap I just mentioned. And I'll see you next week.